Hello. I'm Sally, your host. Welcome to the third board, my master's chess channel. Here I will show you games from great players of the past, and other chess related content. Today's video is part 1, of an instructive game, played between the Soviet Latvian Grand Master, Mikhail Tal, and the Soviet Russian Grand Master, Lev Polyugayevsky, in Tbilisi, 1959. Tal, who would become the 8th world champion in 1960, was considered a creative genius, and one of the best attacking players of all time. Even today, he has lots of fans. In today's game, not only tall, but both players attack, and a lot. If you like sharp positions, I think you will like this game. Regarding playing styles, my master prefers quiet and positional style games, but I personally like Mikhail Tal's style, with lots of combinations and sacrifices. Which style do you prefer? Well, let's begin. Mikhail Tal has white and stars with, pawn to e4. Left Polyugayevsky plays, c5. The Sicilian defense characteristic move. And after, knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, a6. We have on the board, the Sicilian defense, knight or variation. In this position, the most common moves for white are, Bishop to e2. The standard move in the first half of the 20th century, and allows black's e5. Pawn to f4. Which is a more aggressive move. Prepares queen to f3, bishop to e3 and castles queen side. Bishop to c4 which is also called Fischer variation, employed with success by the later world champion, and it is similar to the fischer sozin attack. Bishop to e3, which is the current main line of the Nidorf variation, and leads to the English attack. White usually plays, f3, queen to d2, castles queenside and g4. and bishop to g5 which was played in this game and it is the old main line of the Nidorf variation the game continues with knight from b to d7 bishop to c4 queen to a5 threatening the g5 bishop and pinning the knight queen to d2 defending the bishop and unpinning e6. I remind the student that this is all opening theory. The Nidorf variation was already a well-studied and analyzed opening even in Tal's time. White plays. Castles King's side. Castling King's side was a relatively new move in 1959. Castling to the queen side was more usual then and the following sacrifice continuation was sometimes adopted. b5 Bishop to d5 White pieces sacrifices in d5 or f5, are common in the Sicilian. e takes on d5 Knight to c6 Queen to b6 e takes on d5 and after that, the white king would be safe and his black counterpart would be in trouble. Instead of castling king side, Stockfish suggests a3, as the best move for white. 
Let's return to the game. After white castles, black plays. Bishop to e7. Rook from a, to d1. Knight to c5. According to Tal's comments, black would be worse if he castled instead of knight to c5, because white would reply with, knight to d5, attacking the e7 bishop and the queen. However, Stockfish disagrees. The engine suggests castling for black and, after that, the game could have continued like this. Knight to d5. Bishop to d8. Defending the queen. Knight takes on f6 check. Knight takes knight. Queen takes queen. Bishop takes queen. Bishop takes knight. Pawn takes bishop. C3. B5. And, according to the wise fish, the position would be equal. Let's return to the game. After knight to c5, the game continues with rook from f to e1, bishop to d7, a3. White now threatens to advance the pawn to b4, forking the knight and the queen. Black plays queen to c7, b4, knight to a4. According to Tall, and Stockfish agrees with him, this move chosen by Polyugayevsky, was the best for black. Instead of knight to a4, black could have played, knight from c takes on e4, threatening the queen and the c4 bishop. But this would be a blunder because of Knight takes on e4. Queen takes on c4. Bishop takes on f6. G takes on f6. Knight to f5. And white would be much better. Black also could have played. b5. Threatening the c4 bishop again, but this too would be a mistake because of b takes on c5 b takes on c4 knight to f5 sacrificing the knight e takes on f5 e takes on f5 bishop takes on f5 and white would have a strong attack a third variation for black could be rook to c8 and after that, b takes on c5, queen takes on c5, e5, queen takes on c4, e takes on f6, queen takes on c3, f takes on e7, queen takes queen, bishop takes queen, and white would be better too. Well. That was a lot of variations, wasn't? Let's return to the game, after knight to a4, white plays. Knight takes on a4. Bishop takes on a4. And finally, we arrived at the most interesting position of the game. As you can see, the black queen is threatening the white bishop. My master said that white should retreat the bishop to a2. It is safer there, he said. Do you agree with him? If you ask my humble opinion, I do not agree. I think my master lack of creativity is unnerving. White should ignore the bishop, and play pawn to e5, to continue the attack. What do you think? What would you do if you were tall, and had the white pieces? Did you like this game so far? I hope you enjoyed this video.
If you want notifications of more content like this, please subscribe to this channel. I shall narrate this game's conclusion in the next video. Thank you, and see you again in part 2. Goodbye.